Praise the Lord, my Christian warriors. Pastor Buster here, Power of Chance Christian Life Center. And welcome to another moment of meditation on the Potter's Will. Today we're going to talk about faith. There are three types of faith that we're going to discuss that we have been discussing over the past few weeks. The first one was ineffective faith. The second one was weak faith. And today we're going to talk about effective faith. It's so important that we realize how, how much faith or what faith has to do with in our lives. So as we think about God gives us a certain measure of faith. So there's different levels of faith. There's not, there's not different kinds of faith, but there's different levels. So how can we know uh, our faith is effective? Well, you look in the book of Luke chapter 17, uh, verse five, it says, one day the, the apostle said to the Lord, we need more faith. Well, effective faith depends on God. The disciples' uh, request was genuine, but uh, they wanted faith that was necessary to, for a radical uh, forgiveness because they wanted to get their, their sin debt. They were self-conscious about, about their sin that, that they were going through. But, but Jesus didn't directly answer their question because the amount of faith is not as important as the genuineness of faith. What is faith? Faith is total dependence on, on God and a willingness to do His will. Faith is not something uh, we use to throw on the shelf. Uh, it's complete and humble obedience to God and His will. A willingness to do whatever He calls us to do. So, in essence, faith is something very, very important to us. So, as, as we begin to look at how faith takes you from one level to another. Effective faith rests on what Christ has done in, in, in our life. Romans 5 and 1 says, uh, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The effective faith grows under pressure. Uh, Romans 5 and 3 uh, and 5, the, the writer wants us to understand that we should not abandon our faith uh, uh, because of persecution, but we must endure. Effective faith becomes stronger uh, through endurance. Romans 8, 12 to 25, or Galatians chapter 3, uh, verses 11, which says, uh, but no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. It is evident for the just shall live by faith. Now, when we look at that particular scripture, the just shall live by faith. When you recognize how God has put you in a place of made you justified, made you righteous because of the blood of Jesus, understand that your faith can get you to levels beyond your wildest dreams. Can you believe for something that is not uh, uh, normal? Say, for instance, you want your car paid off. And you got four years to pay for it. But you want to pay off in one year. If you say, Lord, I have the faith that my car will be paid off in one year. And it happens. It gets paid off and your faith becomes stronger. This is something that you need to understand. Faith is like a muscle. Me being a, a former bodybuilder, I understand how, how you work out on different weights and what have you. And, it's, and if you want a mu certain muscle part of your body to get bigger and stronger, you work on it over and over again. So you continue to say what you have and have what you say. So faith is something that we as Christians need to understand that God has given us a measure of faith. Hebrews 11 1 says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Well, faith is now, when you start believing God for something now, it is being taken care of in the spirit realm. So once you believe God for it, it will come to pass. How great is your faith? This is something that we need to understand as Christians. God is there for us to live by faith. When we live by faith, God takes us, takes over from there. So we have ineffective faith, weak faith, and effective faith. Which one are you? I hope God is giving you that particular scriptures that will kind of get you lined up with His will. God's will is perfect for your life. Yeah, I'm Pastor Bussy. You can reach out to me uh, by a PO box and carry out Father's Hands Christian Life Center. 
Hey, I'm Power Science Christian Lifestyle. What are you doing?